Fahad Ahmed al Obaidli and Anis Biguima. We're happy to present to you a fascinating panel discussion between two creatives here in Qatar, Fahad Ahmed al Obaidli and Anis Biguima, for a conversation entitled The Era of Now, the Creative Industry in Qatar and the M7 Initiative. Fahad al Obaidli is a multifaceted artist who doesn't believe in boundaries. This fashion designer, artist, creative director expresses himself through the art he promotes in Qatar and internationally. He is also the head of programs with M7, where he shares his knowledge with young designers. Anis Biguima, design director of the Creative Union, has been passionately striving to create appropriate design solutions that are true to context for over 20 years. A Libyan creative and design director, born in the US, raised in Libya, Malta and Wales, studied and worked in England and Italy, he has been working in the MENA region since 2003. Hi, my name is Fahad Al-Abedli, head of program at M7. I'm excited to live in a time that we witnessed the creation of Doha Design District, especially M7 to become the hub of this district. M7 have been built by the community for the creative community. Join me for this conversation and he's design the director at Creative Union. How are you doing? How are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Alhamdulillah. Uh, we raised this question about like the creative landscape here in Qatar or uh, worldwide. Yeah. Uh, we witnessed the slow motion of uh, producing or uh, pr uh, producing content or producing these creative uh, products. Uh, I think the question here is it because the, sh the focus shifted from the what the future will look like more than the now, or it's the other way around? It's more of uncertainty of what's going to happen. I mean, we don't know. You can't plan ahead, uh, especially, obviously, events, for example, is, like, it's just paused. Uh, people can't get together. Uh, so behavior of consumers change. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they become more, you're isolated. Uh, everything slows down. Uh, you're, you're, the consumer's anxious as well, mm -hmm. uh, need reassurance. Uh, so they are shifting in a way that, uh, for example, um, we will get clients that mainly want things instant. Mm -hmm. Like the instant factor mm -hmm. is present everywhere. Like the interaction with the, with the public. I think here the key is like how you utilize technology. Yes. To have a very focused engagement yeah. with uh, I don't know unconventional way of engagement with a football game. I think the creative minds or the creative industries, such as designers. Uh, engineers and stuff like that, they came together and they built this new way of communication or yeah. like the new way of engaging yeah. that actually make you part of it. But this time as everybody, you have to work online. Yeah. Uh, you have to work from a distance. You have yeah. to share ideas in different ways. Uh, at the same time, you understand the consumer because you're a consumer as well. Yeah, <laughs> true. true. Uh, you're, you're part of the audience. We are part of the audience. Yeah. Um, so design is contextual. Uh, so it relies on what's happening now and insights of what's going to happen in the future, yes. I think the currency now is ideas. Ideas, yes. Yeah, it's become a currency and I think uh, now we need to value that uh, more than ever. And innovation as well. Yeah. Uh, different ways of uh, communicating with the public. The visual language changes as well. Mm. Uh, it becomes more rapid in some cases, mm. uh, more high octane, like... Uh, um, it's not as slow as you think because people around them are slow life, so they, they want to experience uh, speed and everything happen in the actual uh, on, online. Basically. Yeah, I call it the click moment. The click moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah where people uh, want to experience things very quickly. Uh, and this is very, um, I mean, the thing is happening at the same time globally. Mm -hmm. So everybody's experiencing pretty much the same uh, feeling or the same experience at the same time, wow. at different levels. I find uh, it very interesting because like the, your audience will be like different. They come from different backgrounds, yeah. cultural uh, behavior and stuff like that, but they experience the same message you try to convey. Yes. If we shift gear here, it's like from the topic you're talking about to how designers or design districts actually behave because design district usually it's a place where showcase and promote. Yeah. And it's a place where the audience can engage with 
whatever have been produced and uh, 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 purchased from a consumer point of view or from even like public point of view. And I think uh, now designers are th shifting the way they think even, like instead of having this uh, return on investment uh, strategy to a, re uh, a return on involvement. Yeah. It's like how to, they can measure this involvement and making people part of it, you know, like join us in this campaign or join us through this product. Let's say uh, it could be like a simple uh, water bottle. Yeah. And like instead of saying like build this awareness about it's healthy, it's more about like how you can make it yours. How innovation play a big part in keeping those engagement alive? Like I would use the Milan Fashion Week, the menswear mm -hmm. were established last week. Everything was virtual. Yeah. The fashion shows were virtual, stuff like that. And um, me personally, I used to be in those fashion shows, sitting and engaging with the designers or the runway. That when that had been taken away from us. And then uh, I was not sure if I will attend those shows virtually. And even when like I was getting like the same invitations, the same thing, it's just the only different I would be in my room watching the shows there. Yeah, it opens doors to other ways of, as I said, for a football fan, but it other, opens doors to other ways of thinking, ways around it. Yeah. Uh, as you said, uh, the gaming community is uh, similar, for example. Yeah. It's, it's been doing that for years because everything was digital, not print. And um, the way you have to come up with ideas like this, for example, is it going to be live? But was it going to be just comments? So you still have time. But that's at the moment the standard yeah. for us. Uh, what else can it be besides uh, just a show and you sit down and you comment? Yeah. Uh, the experience needs to be a little bit more engaging. Designers used to design for the sake of designing and being part of the market or like uh, reaching out. So how do you think the, the production supply chain changed? Yeah, that has changed a lot. Uh, we're getting from our side as well, uh, in the last, I would say, years, couple of years, uh, there was a lot of demand for uh, sustainable uh, design yeah. in terms of uh, how does it affect the environment, how does it affect, uh, where does it come from, yeah. uh, where is it made. Uh, that is, we get yeah. that recently in many, many projects in terms of packaging. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, there's a high demand. And it adds, uh, I don't want to say cachet to the client. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but it does. Uh, not everybody is on the same kind of uh, education, but yeah. there is a collective understanding that this is the way we're going. Yeah. Uh, we're going to sustainability, electric cars, uh, fight climate, basically climate change. And, uh, yeah. That's part of it. And that's due to the new generation. Yeah. Uh, that's coming up, the yeah. younger generation. Yeah. Uh, they're more environmental, like I see, yeah. like they like they're way consumed, if they consume uh, with the mentality of now. Yeah. I'm going to consume this product right now. It's not about I'm going to keep it as a luxury item. I will wear it once a year or whatever. Like it's more about like uh, how they're going to consume it in, in, the, in the time frame of now. Uh, they read the label. Is it the way it was produced? Yeah. So the supply chain. Uh, is it ethical the way they conduct their business? Yeah, exactly. And I, yeah, I think like and wasted exhibition half like for Sudan and Seven was like a kind of testimony for that. Like how actually we, to be honest, the topic I didn't I didn't think that it would be very popular, but it was so popular. Like we had like lines and lines of audiences that want to experience the collection and the mission and the awareness itself. So I think like now, uh, not only the younger generation, the younger generation, I think they, this is their focus, but that actually they influence the prior generation like ours. Yeah. Like definitely. we are influenced by them uh, as, as a designers or as a, as a consumers. Yeah, because I, I didn't grow up personally, for example, with uh, environmentally sustainable upbringing about thinking about climate change yeah. <laughs> uh, in my life. But uh, the new generation is aware because of uh, the news and the our campaigns, for example, they move faster. Yeah. The message now gets faster. Yeah, it gets faster. It's, said, it's the now. Uh, yeah. This is the Arab now. Yeah, so the Arab yeah. now. So the, the main point is actually when they get uh, uh, awareness campaigns or uh, ideas about sustainability, they get it quicker. Uh, this is a few years. If you did this exhibition a few years back, not a lot of people would turn up yeah. as such, like 20 years ago. Mm. Uh, 
the wet were environment, beer. Yeah. Just, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, beer, yeah, the environment was something, somebody else's problem. Yeah. Uh, no, the new generation. The new generation understands this. because we're living this planet, exactly. this universe. For exactly. Them. So they they are paying attention to that. Yeah, now. and they're paying yeah. attention, and this basically um, they they know it's going to happen to them. They're growing up now. Yeah. Uh, in the next twenty years, or yeah. twenty years. In this note, thank you so much for sure. joining me for this session, and it was lovely talking to you and get inside the agency point of view. You know, like how they are actually interacting with uh, their clients and how actually they are part of the solution when they actually presenting all their creative ideas to the clients, the brand or the designers to really shift their way of thinking yeah. about like how they can communicate their messages now. Thank you so much Thank and you. lovely uh, to have you here.